I'm Alice, I'm the president of Growing Farmers. So Growing Farmers is a community-led organisation that originated in the Moreland local government area in the northern suburbs of Melbourne. We're super passionate about building resilient communities and doing that through building capacity for urban farming um, and regenerative ways of growing our food that is good for both the earth and the people who live in these communities. So at the moment we're uh, partway through a project called the Backyard Farmers Project. That project started up in November 2020 and the pilot's still running right now. So the aim of Backyard Farmers is we bring together land hosts who are willing very generously to share their backyards with people who have some skills in food growing and farming and really want to learn more um, and come together so that they can grow food for their community. So we give them access to networks, we uh, give them access to land, we give them some support and some startup costs and just all the things that help get them across the line to make their first step into urban farming and growing food for their communities. Hi, I'm Izzy and I'm one of the farmers with the Backyard Farmers Project. There's tons of things that I really love about this project because there's just there's heaps of support and the community is amazing and it's really fun. But I also just, I really love the vision because it's, it's so simple, but it's also really radical because it's, you know, there are so many backyards in Melbourne that are completely barren with dead compacted soil. And so seeing the possibility of transforming those spaces into really vibrant gardens with really rich soil and bringing biodiversity back into those spaces as well as providing healthy nutrient dense food to the local communities. So I just, it's a really exciting project to be a part of. Hi, my name's Teresa, I'm one of the farm hosts. Um, we were interested in getting involved in this project because we'd recently moved to the area um, and we had quite a large garden that was just grass and we really wanted to make it a productive space so we could grow vegetables and really didn't have the time or the skills to do so. So the opportunity to allow someone else to use the land who had those skills, who had the time and the expertise um, and really to get involved with the community, meet new people, um, just seemed like a great idea to us. One of the biggest highlights of being part of the project has been the people that we've met. Um, sometimes I think you can feel you're a bit isolated in these ideas that you have about how the world could be or how we could make it better um, and we've just met a whole host of people who sort of think like us and don't only think like us, but are willing to do something about it. So it's just given us a real kind of bright outlook on things. Hey, I'm Katie. I'm one of the Backyard Farmers as part of the Growing Farmers Project. Growing Farmers has helped us in so many ways. So we're really supported um, in having all of our inputs, our startup costs and water, and all of these little fiddly things that um, would kind of trip us up otherwise, they've all been covered. So that's been something that has relaxed us greatly and allowed us to try things in the spirit of experimentation. I really love the relationship that we have with Sapphire, who is the host here, who is a, an amazing mycologist who's sharing lots of information with us all the time. So that in itself is kind of like a crash course in all things scientific that we wouldn't have had otherwise. I love the support from our mentors who are just radical humans and they're giving us lots of kind of warm, fuzzy support that we wouldn't have had doing this on our own. And I just love the goals of the program, which is to have lots and lots of thriving local food hubs that are feeding people rather than um, a more industrialised model. I'm George and I'm one of the backyard farmers. What I like about the project is just the opportunity to learn so much so quickly. Um, you can learn things from reading about them and researching and watching YouTube videos, but in the last few months here, um, Katie and I have learned so, so much from just the first hands-on experience and that's been yeah, a really great opportunity. Katie and I have only been in Melbourne for a year now and so we're meeting lots of people through the project um, when we give out the produce to friends and neighbours and people in the community. So I think the connections that the project facilitates is what really excites us. Hey, I'm Safar. I'm one of the Backyard Farm hosts and I joined this project because I love food, I love growing food and sharing the space just makes it more fun because you get to play with other farmers. For me, being part of the Backyard Farm Project means that I get to feel that the land is being productive and not being wasted and producing food for local people, which is just better. 
I would say to people who are thinking about being backyard farmers or farm hosts is have a go. It's lots of fun and we'll get more food out of it and we'll learn some stuff and get to hang out. The longer term vision for growing farmers is definitely to get more backyard farms up and running. And we're also really keen um, to get some a larger plot of land in Moreland so that we can start up a training farm. We would love to have that as a place where three or four farmers can really um, be supported to learn the art of farming and growing food. And the other part of it is we really want to inspire other communities to be able to do the same.